Hello there, everybody. This is Wheat Roll here, and uh, today I'm here to bring another great StarCraft 2 game. Now, today's matchup will be two Diamond League players. Uh, will be the Red Terran spawning in the top left, named Jin Wook, and the Blue Protoss spawning in the bottom right, named Demosthenes. Now, uh, if you've watched my replays before, you'll see that, uh, you'll know that Demosthenes is my brother. And he is also my coach, and he, uh, offers free lessons for anyone who wants to improve their game as Protoss. So, uh, you should check him out on, uh, Twitch and, uh, check out a couple of his games. His Twitch account is, uh, Demosthenes. 13, 13, 13. And uh, he's a great coach. He taught me everything I know. So, now, getting into this game, we've got a pretty standard opening here for Demosthenes. If we see a 13 gate come down, he goes to scout. We see a 13 barracks come up as well for Jinwok. He's not walling his main here. Having a nice conversation about some uh, some pizza, which everyone loves. All right, let's check out how the unit count is going. We see 15 probes to 14 SCVs. The very beginning here. Seeing a gateway come down. He's saturating a gas and cyber core. You can see a pretty standard build here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Seeing an early orbital command go up. He's producing a marine. Just get a marine out. Chases away that scout probe. Who Pretty much saw everything going on in his base here. Let's see if Jinwok. Jinwok is go. now scouting. Jinwok is early expansion. Very early expansion. It's a greedy play here. SCB One ready. back expo. Get that SCB taken down there. Alright. Does Demosthenes know he has expo? Let's see. No, Demosthenes does not know. There's a proxy pylon here. But I did not pick that up a little earlier. Demosthenes is now expoing off of one gate. Seeing a bunker go down. Two more racks being built. As Demosthenes has a heavy probe lead here. Although we do have a mule in play. Production tab is coming up. We're seeing warp gate tech researched is about uh, halfway done. Stalker is being produced. More gateways being dropped. We are having this ex this expansion is basically done. Same thing with this barracks and this bunker. Orbital command is going right into the orbital. Expansion is three fourths of the way there. We see two gateways being dropped. The warp gate tech research almost completed. He's pumping out the uh, stalkers. He's dropping his second gas now. This is a classic one gate expo for the Protoss. You're seeing an engineering bay and a tech lab, which could mean some. Uh, some early reapers, marauders maybe. Uh, I doubt he's getting any reapers. And we're seeing an engineering bay. It could also mean upgrades, which we are seeing Stimpak right now. Uh, we got a forge and a twilight going down for people to see this. It's, uh, an SCV makes his way into the Emo's Venus space. Touched. Emo's Venus's units are now pushing the front. We're seeing a second bunker go down. 
gets hit to the Z lot alone, just gets wiped out. I don't think that's what he intended to happen. He's now pushing with the Stalkers and sees the Marauder and is backing off. We are now seeing infantry upgrades coming out, more Marauders being built, defense being built for the Protoss, defense upgrades. HTs. You see a, a Templar Archives go down 7 minutes and 30 seconds into the game. At this point, I believe the Terran has a major advantage. If you push now, you might be able to take this game. But he is pretty content on, on sitting back, as it seems. We are seeing a factory now go down and combat shield upgrade come out, along with Stimpak. See how we're doing unit-wise. Demos Thetis is ahead by five probes, but we do see mules in play. We do have 11 marines, 12 marines, and three marauders on the map, with only three zealots and four stalkers. But now, push hold back. Let's get the eye lit up with a probe here. Saturating the second base. We are seeing HDs with Psy Storm being pumped out. Fourth gate going down. We're seeing still armor upgrades, and we are now seeing charge. Steve so maintains his probe lead. Ooh. Quick couple probes pumped out for for Jin Wolf. He's uh, evening out the probe count here. Let's go back to the production tab. So we are seeing now concussive shell along with weapons upgrades being completed. I believe those marines are now 1-1. One, one, or 1-1-0 one, one, oh here. With concussive shell and stim pack. So we are now seeing the armor upgrades come for the marines. Let's see, let's see what their APM is looking like right about now. So, on average, the Terran player has about double the APM as Demos Thetis. But right now we are seeing about the same. As the Terran is jumping to over 100, Demos Thetis is down to 20. It's lost count. We're seeing about the same amount of resources spent in units that have been lost. Probe count has changed favor here. That's the most destroying the drops. It is now heavily in favor of Jin Wook, who's still producing probes. We, go up. we have a Robo facility being warped in, with cannons being built and uh, forge upgrades. We now have a Ghost Academy along with an armory, a, th a third base being produced. Uh, the armor upgrades. Also, more SEVs coming out along with it. This expansion is done. He's taking an early third here. As Demos Thetis is apparently doing the same. He's got the probe in position to build the expansion. We're now seeing... Medivacs on the map, which means we do have Starport. Yep, Starport with a reactor, producing Medvacs. He's looking like he's going for a drop here. Demos Thetis is not very well prepared. If he drops here, we'll run those units to the mineral line. Those cannons won't have much effect. He seems to be coming off the corner here. Let's get that factory in the air. But the scout, most likely, as we are seeing a third for Demos Thetis. We are now seeing Colossus Tech go down the robotics bay. We are now seeing three more barracks being put up for Jinwook, along with level 2 infantry upgrades. We are also seeing level 2 armor upgrades for Demos Thetis. That third expansion is saturated for Jinwook, as it is still building for Demos Thetis. The 
probe count is shot to about 16 probes at this point. 16 probes behind Jinwalk's 65 SCVs, along with mules kicking that along. So he's clearly behind economically. As we see a very large bank of minerals here. Jinwalk. But we do see Archons. Archons are a very, very strong unit. Can absorb massive damage. I did not see what happened with that drop, though. I'm not sure if he dropped. I don't don't believe that drop ever went off. I do not know what he did with his units. He may have just pulled them back. Sorry about that. I'm back again here. We are seeing SCVs being still being produced. A fourth base being produced as Jinwalk is massing his units at, middle, at the middle of the map. He's now marching towards the Protoss third. Do see HTs and a lot of zealots here. Let's look at the unit tab. We have 29 zealots, two archons, a colossus, six stalkers sentries and three HTs. So he does get to this army. Good force fielding there. The Terran army is trapped. There's nowhere for it to go. Those medevacs cannot heal fast enough. Those units are dead. The Terran army is slaughtered in this battle. Completely out destroyed. Although they did destroy the third expansion and they do have a fourth building. He's dropping a couple more racks here. the units lost tab, the production tab, here we go. We do see him drop more racks, and he is getting level 3 upgrades, or level 2 armor, level 3 uh, weapons. We see level 2 weapons and level 2 armor for the Protoss. Observers being produced, two Nexuses being dropped for a third and a fourth, as we do not see that fourth being moved anywhere just yet. But the Protoss army is pushing out here. Probably to finish the game after that devastating defeat. The, the food count here is just in favor of Demos Thenus as he's looking for a fourth expansion. He does not find one there. This Terran army does spot Demos Thenus. They're heading out. Maybe to get in position here. I don't think he should engage that army. If he saw what he saw... Oh, we do have units from Demos Thenus engaging early, a bit early there. And we do have units marching across the map for Demos Thenus. So you should be paying attention to where his units are. At this point, I don't think it's going to matter. I think just a, just a devastating tier 3 units here. The Archons mixed with the Colossus. Just obliterating this Marine Marauder army. And there's the GG. What a, a, a very well played game for Demos Thenus to take a uh, quick win against a uh, pretty well skilled Terran player here. He did play a little greedy in the beginning, but those those uh, tier 3 Archons and Colossus just shred those Marines and Marauders. And uh, thank you for watching. This is We Roll signing out.